Shalom, friends, and welcome to Hebrew Bible Study. I'm Eric Model, and today we want to look at a fascinating word study in Hebrew for the word Christian. What is Christian in Hebrew? We can see it right here, Notsri. So we'll come back to that, but really this stems from a question from one of you, from one of our viewers, and he was uh, asking, pertaining to the study we did recently on the Hebrew word adversary, which is czar. And he said, hi, in Psalm 32, verse 7, would you please help me understand the connection between tetzar and netzar? I only know that tetzar is to bind or distress, etc., but netzar is to guard or watch or keep. Thanks. So that's a great question. What's the relation between Netzar and Tetzar in Psalm 32, verse 7? And what does bind and distress have to do with guard, watch, or keep? So here's that verse that we, we mentioned in the study of adversary uh, briefly. And it says, Atta Setherli. So Atta Setherli is, you are my hiding place. Mitzar Titzareni. Right from trouble, you guard me or you deliver me. Rane pelete suvaveni sela, and we can see the Hebrew root zar here. See that zar. So zar here is to be in distress, and zar here is the Lord guarding us from that distress or protecting us from from it or keeping us from it so how do those relate okay so in that study last time with adversary we found that czar's the root of adversary and it comes it comes from the idea of to bind in hebrew or something narrow or confined or distressed right so our adversaries are our, our uh, zarai in hebrew our enemies that, that try to bind us or confine us or distress us. Okay, that's what they're about. They're our czars. So that's the negative sense of this root. But the root, as we briefly mentioned in that previous study, also has positive connotations to it as well. And we saw that there in that psalm, to, to guard. Czar is the root for to guard. That's all. And tatsar, and uh, it means to guard in the sense of binding oneself to something precious, to something that is loved, to something that is important, right? So our enemies try to bind us in a negative way, but when we guard something in Hebrew, like a vineyard, we're going to stay with that vineyard. We're going to be bound to it. Right, we're going to watch over it, so we're going to stay there with it to protect it in a positive sense. So that's the relation between czar to to bind in a negative sense and czar to guard in a positive sense. Right, when you guard something or watch over it, you bind yourself to that object of affection. So hopefully, that makes sense here then for our viewer in Psalm thirty-two, verse seven. Right, this is the negative sense from distress. And this is a positive sense that the Lord is going to guard us. He's going to stay with us and guard us and protect us from that distress. So that's the relation between those two. And that's how to guard something relates to binding. You bind yourself to it in a positive sense. It's also the root czar for branch in Hebrew. And this is where we start getting into. The Hebrew word for Christian. And there's a messianic prophecy in Isaiah 11.1. 1. Maybe you know it. Then a shoot will spring from the stem of Jesse, and a branch from his roots will bear fruit. All right. Ve yatsa hoter. Right. Mi geza ishai from the stem of Jesse. Ishai. Ve netzer. Mi shadoshav yifre, right? So will a a uh, a branch will from his roots bear fruit. 
So here's that Hebrew word netzer. And in this case, it's a branch. And you can see the root there, zar. The bilateral root is zar. You know, a branch is something that is bound to the greater tree. In fact, if you have an olive tree, you'll see shoots that are springing from its roots. And these are netzers. Here's a picture of an olive tree, and you can see the netzers here. Can you see them? And so that messianic prophecy was saying that the Messiah would be a netzer of Jesse. He would be of the family line of Jesse. So branch then is netzer in Hebrew, and guard is netzer. And they both are related in the sense of they're bound in a positive way. Interestingly, Nazareth has for its root czar as well. And if we go to the New Testament to Matthew 2, verse 23, and he, speaking of Joseph, came and lived in a city called Nazareth. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene. And perhaps Matthew here was referring to that messianic prophecy from Isaiah 11.1. 1. But here it is in Hebrew, Vayavo, and he came, Vayeshev, and he dwelt, Vayir Hanikrat Natrat, in a city that was called Nazareth. Natrat, you can see that, Nazareth, Natrat, that's Nazareth. You can see Netzer as its root for its trilateral root and Zar as its bilateral root. Nazareth has as its root Zar. Okay, so interestingly, so Nazareth is Netzer. There was a lot of olive trees grown on the slopes of Nazareth, there still are today. But also Jesus. Yeshua was from Nazareth, and he is of the shoot or the stem of Jesse, the line of David, Jesse being David's father. And this is where we get to Christian in Hebrew. The root for Christian is Tsar. We saw it in that verse in Matthew, uh, and you can see it right here, note three. He will be called a Nazarene, Notri. Notri, it's the same root. Netzer, Nun, Zadi, Resh. Netzer, Nun, Zadi, Resh. Notri is a Nazarene, but it became also the word for Christian in Hebrew. So if you want to call somebody a Christian in Hebrew, it's a Notri or the Notrim. So it's it's important to understand that as Christians, we're no dream because we're bound to our Lord, Yeshua, who's from Natrat, and he is a netzer of Jesse, right? He's a branch of Jesse. Netzer reminds us as Christians of our roots and how we are all bound to our Lord Yeshua, just as the shoots of an olive tree are bound to the greater tree we're bound to our lord and we want to be just like him just like those shoots coming up from that olive tree are just like its mother tree we want to be just like our lord so we're shoots of yeshua so it brings verses like this to a fuller understanding when yeshua said in john 15 i am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser every branch right in me that does not bear fruit he takes away but every branch that bears fruit he prunes it so that it may bear more fruit and he went on to say i am the vine you are the branches you're the notrim he who abides in me and i in him he bears much fruit for apart from me you can do nothing so i hope that sort of helps understand the relation between czar in a negative sense and czar in a positive sense. It's the root for adversary, but it's also the root for Christian. And we can be bound to our Lord, and he's bound to us, and, and he's 
bound to us in the sense that he's going to guard and protect us and be with us wherever we go. And we're bound to him in the same way. We want to be with him wherever we go. Well, I hope that was a blessing for you today. I hope that was fascinating. I hope that the route for Christian is interesting to you. And I hope it helped our viewer see the relation between to be bound in a negative sense and to guard in a positive sense. I'm Eric Modal. Pray the Lord bless you. Bishim Yeshua. Amen.